Thanks for joining this quick Getting Started screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. In this video, we're going to review how to set up and execute a not sent data extract. Navigate to Journey Builder, then Automation Studio. We'll create a new automation. We'll name it and click Done, then Save. We'll drag and drop data extract activity. Click Choose. Click Create New Data Extract Activity. On this page, you will need to add a name for this activity and a file naming pattern. In the extract type, let's select Tracking Extract, then Next. On this page, on the right, you will need to select at minimum Extract Not Sent, Extract Subscribers, Extract Unsubs. You can add others as necessary. Here on the left, we see different information we can use in the extract. For example, we can specify a rolling range for the Not Sent extract, or you can select a specific date range. You can specify the account ID, the attributes, the encoding, column delimiters, as well as an email send definition external key to filter data from a specific send. Click Next once the configuration of the data extract is complete. On this page, you can review the data extract. Everything looks good, so let's click Finish. We'll click Save to save the automation. Now we will need to drag and drop a file transfer activity. This activity will help securely transfer files from the Marketing Cloud's secure file transfer location, the Safe House, to a selected FTP location. Click Choose. Click Create New File Transfer Activity. On this page, we will add a name and we'll select the file action, Move a File from Safe House. Click Next. On this page, we'll add a file naming pattern and we will select the destination as Exact Target Enhanced FTP. Let's click Next. On this page, you can review the file transfer activity. Everything looks good, so let's click Finish. We'll click Save to save the automation. Let's add a schedule to this automation by dragging and dropping the schedule activity from the starting source section. In our case, we will run the automation once, so we do not need to complete the schedule. Let's run the automation by clicking Run Once. We'll click Select All Activities, then Run, and finally, Run Now. This should take a few minutes for the automation to complete. Let's click Activity to make sure the automation completed with success. This automation will generate a file on your FTP that contains the reason why emails have not been sent. In our case, this is a zip file. You can unzip this file and review the reason why an email has not been sent to a subscriber. On this page, you can see the file notsent.csv which is part of the zip file generated on the FTP. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.